okay now that we looked at temporal logic we look at logic of knowledge and belief first of all there is a big difference between knowledge and belief and we will get to it as we go along by looking at some examples so let us look at some examples to see which involve knowledge and what we know and what we believe and what difference there is For example I know I have done well in my exam I hope you have done well in your exam I believe I will be the topper in the class ok now I have to figure out what the difference between belief, hope and knowledge and the next one is number 4 is I know 2 plus 2 equal to 4 I believe pi equal to 3.14 I believe cancer is curable I doubt cancer is curable I hope cancer is curable ok so now the difference between belief, hope, doubt, knowledge there's subtle differences between them. We'll see what they are. And they come from English. Sometimes they're not captured by the logic. So we'll first use some notation. First we talk about belief. So belief involves the agent, the person whose whose belief it is. So if you say believe it is raining, you say it is I believe it is raining. So you write B for belief and rain. That means you believe in rain. And there are two more qualifications around it. One is the person. So you need to add I. Wh which person or agent is believing that? And rain. And then you need other qualifications like time also. Time and location where it is raining and what time it is raining. Compare that with I know it is raining. You write K for knowledge. K raining. And then I for I know it is raining. And then we can get into quite complex stuff like I believe in karma. And so Anu says that. So Anu believes in karma. Okay. And we still have to define what is karma and what belief is. And then not only that, your belief can involve time. So Anu says, I believe cancer will be curable. Biju says, I bet a cure for cancer will be found. So uh, what's the difference between believe and person willing to bet? And then KT says, I doubt a cure for cancer will be found. So this is again a belief, but negative belief. And let's compare all the different ways of beliefs can be there about involving time and knowledge and belief. I think cancer is curable. Biju. I think cancer will be curable. Is and will be, is there a difference? KT, I thought cancer is curable. So, in this case, Katie's, KT thinks that she thought in the past that cancer is curable at that point, at the current point. And Dave, I thought cancer was curable. In this case, Dave is saying that in the past he, th he knew or he thought that cancer was curable and maybe now he doesn't know and Eva I thought cancer will be curable so this is a belief in the past her belief in the past that in the future from the past the cancer will be curab uh, curable so there are many different versions of involving time and belief and knowledge so let's look at some more examples in the past belief about the past let's look at it I believe Vikings had visited India Anu says that so belief is about the past and she doesn't know, she believes that. Biju, I guess Vikings had conquered Russia. Guess means uh, he's not really sure but he thinks so. Again, what's the difference belief and guess? We don't know yet but we can figure out the subtle difference. Katie, I believe Vikings were Germans so it's about the past and the belief is in the present tense. Eva, I hope Vikings lived in Germany. This is a hope about the past that Vikings lived in Germany. Let's look at more examples. I believe in cricket. So you say cricket believe I. Now what does it mean to believe in something? Well that's not clear but we'll come to that later. I believe in nothing. How do you say that? For all why I don't uh, believe in why not of that. A everyone believes in something. For all X uh, there is a Y such that X believes in Y. Everybody, for all X, X believes in Y, some Y. 
Okay, so for the y is different from each x. It's not like case everybody believes in the same y. X is a person, y is some belief. Those who believe in aliens believe in everything. How do you write that? For all x, that means those x, if x believes in aliens, then x believes in every y. So, is knowledge different if you know something? Different from believing something? Let's take an example. Anu says, I forgot where I kept the book. And Biju says, I don't know where the book is. So, Anu actually is saying that she knew where the book was and now she doesn't know where it is and she actually kept the book somewhere. Biju says, he doesn't know where the book is. It, it doesn't say about the past of it. In the current point of time, he doesn't know where the currently book is. So, there's a difference between these two. Okay, that's an example. I knew where the book was but now I forgot where it is. Anu is saying that. And what is meta knowledge? When you know something about somebody else's knowledge. I know you know the answer. So I know this thing I, and you know the answer. It's not a case that you really know the answer but I think uh, I know that you know the answer. I could be wrong also and I know you believe in karma. What does it mean? I and believe you in karma. In this case I, I know something about your belief. It may not be true again and your belief again is personal to you. But I have some, I think, this is what I think about your knowledge or belief. I think you believe I am Superman. So how do you say that? First of all, I believe actually. When you say think, actually I believe. And, that, and then you believe that I am Superman. So it's like double belief. That's called meta knowledge. When you think about what other person is thinking, it's very useful in negotiations and contracts and knowledge sharing. Let's look at some more examples. I believe if I believe in God, then God will help me. This gets more complicated. I and you believe that if I believe in God, God will help me. And the whole thing is under belief. It's your belief. It's not. We are not saying that it's really true or false. Number two is, I believe those who believe in magic also believe in ghosts. First of all, it's your belief. The whole thing. Those, those who. That's X. X believes in magic implies X believes in ghost. And you can try writing this in your notebook trying to understand how complicated sentence can be. Anu says, I believe the believers will be saved. Now you can try to figure out what it means by having different people ask Anu the question about her statement. I believe the believers will be saved. So you need to ask questions to Anu to clarify what she means. First of all, you can ask Biju, all these people, you need to write five different examples of questions that you could ask Anu to clarify what she's saying. For example, Biju can say, uh, what does, who are the believers? And what does saved mean? Katie can say, what does saved mean? And Dave can ask, what, saved from what? And when and how? So all these questions that turn up, which are not clear. Who are the believers? What do they believe in? What will they be saved from? When will they be saved? What about the non-believers? What about the disbelievers? Is there a difference between people who do not believe in something and people who believe it's false? There's a difference. We'll look at that later again. Then let's look at an example using changing beliefs. Anu, I used to believe Biju is my friend but not anymore. Can you explain this? This involves multiple time points. Anu says, I used to believe Biju is my friend, but not anymore. So in the past, it was a belief that uh, Biju was a friend. But now, she doesn't believe that. Uh, Anu's belief is that Biju is not a friend. We don't really know whether they're a friend or not. But this is a uh, about her belief, changing beliefs, multiple belief points. And there are two different things about it. The dedicto versus dire. These are Latin words. You can look them on Wikipedia. Anu says, I believe all politicians are honest. Now, these are two interpretations of all. Uh, Anu believes that for all X, politician X implies honest X. And all the people Anu knows, this is about all the people Anu knows. And a dire is independent of all the people Anu, uh, Anu knows. It can say all the people in the world, pollution X 
then Anubilis uh, X is Onus. So there's a slight difference between D Dicto and D Re. And let's look at some counterfactuals. You can even believe in things which are not even possible. The counterfactuals and planning. Anu, if I was born in Germany, I would get a BMW car. This is dreaming. It's a future impossible. Because she's talking about something that is not possible. If I was born in Germany, she's not born in Germany. And she would get a car about a future time. And a past impossible. Biju says, if I studied for my exam, I would have got 100%. He didn't study for the exam, but he's assuming that if he had studied and he believes that, he would have got 100%. Present tense. Katie says, if I sleep now, I can study tomorrow. She's thinking about it. She's not doing it yet. Future possible. Dave says, if we go early, we'll get good seats. He's planning for the future. Okay, so you can make your own examples. And then there are many different kinds of believers. Uh, let's look at all the ways we can represent it. Uh, these are taken from Smalian's book, Forever Undecided and the references so correctly believe means you believe in p and p is true accurate means if you believe in p then p is true inaccurate is somebody who believes in p but p is false and consistent person is somebody who doesn't believe in false theories An unsound person is somebody who believes in false something that is not true or who believes in p and believes in not p and a normal person would be somebody who believes in p then he also believes that he believes in P. He actually is self-aware. And a peculiar person is one who believes in P and also believes that he doesn't believe in P. This is different from the unsound person. It's not that he believes in not P, he just believes that he doesn't believe in P. And a nutcase would be he believes in P and he believes that he doesn't believe in P. And then we have somebody called a modest believer. He believes that if he believes in P, and P is true, then P is actually true. And what about this one? So, you are afraid to believe in P. You believe that if you believe in P, then you will believe false. And what's a liar? You know P and you tell not of P. And secretive, you know P and you don't tell P. Honest, you know P and you tell P. So, these are all taken from uh, Smullyan's book, Forever Undecided, Raymond Smullyan, we'll see that later on in the references. It's really useful to be able to write in logical format all the different kinds of beliefs. So what does a logical omniscience mean? And uh, usually a person who knows all the logical truths and its consequences. Usually God is considered to be logically omniscient. That means God knows everything and all future and the past. And a reference for this is this book by Raymond Smullyan, 1986. Uh, and you can search for modal logic to find out more about uh, modal. So belief and knowledge and time are modalities of logic. And it's a really nice book for think, uh, learning about belief, logic of knowledge and belief. Thank you.